I just got back from a road trip and I want to get this bike cleaned up. When I really want to get a good cleaning, I lift the bike up, I take the saddlebags off, and I get my soap and my water out and get the bike clean. The issue with that is this. I'm gonna show you. If I'm spinning this wheel, you see that? And I'm just barely touching this wheel. I take the saddlebags off, it shifts the weight. I'm not really happy with how the bike is on this lift. It gets it up off the ground, but it doesn't feel stable at all. Yes, I did all that just to show you one thing. Luckily, I just received a Let's Roll Dolly from Let's Roll. I'm gonna get this lift out the way, get the new improved Let's Roll Dolly that I'm gonna get unboxed, put together, and show you the advantage of that. So let's get to it. I got the This is the dolly, this is the lift. As you see my lift, it is all together and it does work, but this is supposed to be so much more stable. And I actually seen it when I was at Run to the Hills 2. Let's Roll, shout out to Let's Roll, came down and they demonstrated this lift. We're gonna get it put together and then I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. All right, so let's get it out the box. Made in the USA, Cruiser Let's Roll. We show the motorcycle the respect they deserve. Let's roll certificate of authenticity. This is what the motorcycle will be sitting on. Really nice thick padding there. Hey. Really nice, nice size wheels. That's one of the things I have, uh, complaints I have with that, that lift that I have. The wheels are so small, it's so hard to roll. Not that I would even attempt to roll it on that thing. But uh, you see this? Look at that there. Pretty nice size. You can see that, right? So let's get these on. There's four of these I have to put on, then we'll open the next box once I get the dolly together. So now we have an option to put it in this hole or this hole. I want it up as high as possible because I'm gonna use it for some maintenance stuff. Okay, so we got the dolly together. My battery went dead, had to change the battery on the camera. We got the dolly together, but let's uh, tighten everything down to make sure it's all nice and snug. Now, I just want to say this. I use the impact driver to put the wheels on, but you don't supposed to use the impact driver when operating this lift. So now that we have the dolly together, so now that we have the dolly together, let's get the lift unboxed. Nicely made. The lift capacity is 1,100 pounds. Do not attempt to lift more than 1,100 pounds. This motorcycle right here is 860 something pounds from the factory and with probably the added stuff that I have on it, it's at least no more than 900 pounds. So I'm well under my 1,100 pound capacity. The Road King is just right out of camera frame. That bike is a lot less. It's about 700 something pounds. So I'll be able to use it with both my motorcycles. Stamped on there, let's roll lift. Check that out, look at that. So here's the screw. They have a packet of grease that I'm gonna be putting on this screw that's gonna be going into the lift. All right guys, so it's actually the next day it started to rain. It was, it was really, really simple to get this put together. Now anytime I lift any motorcycle, any lift. Always want to make sure I have a hold on the uh, the right handlebar grip. Just I just do that. I don't know. It doesn't say they require any of this in the owner's manual. I do that just in case the motorcycle wants to uh, once you start lifting it up wants to flop this way. I'm always making sure that I got some pressure against it for it to go the other way. Now you can see the bike straight up and down. 
and it's almost off the ground. So since I made the dolly as high as I can make it, let's go a little bit higher on this lift. And then we'll set it on the dolly. All right, so I still have my kickstand down and I have the uh, dolly coming in from the kickstand side. I'm gonna hit lock on one of these casters right here just so it don't roll around a lot. So now all I have to do is set it down on the dolly, just like that. All the weight of it right now is on the dolly. I can move the lift out now. Just move it out. All right, and there it is. So I can move it around anywhere I want it now. Let me show you. So the bike is on the lift. You couldn't pay me enough money to do that on that other lift that I had. But this dolly is so stable. I mean, you could push me and this motorcycle around while I'm sitting on this lift. Look, I can turn the wheel. Check that out. I can do all of that on this. Take the brake off here. Look at that. Look at this. I can turn this thing all the way around, 360 degrees. There it is, <laughs> right back in place. Lock these wheels down. Look at, here's another wheel to lock that down. But that's not what I was showing you at first, remember? The whole reason, it's pretty cool that you can rotate the whole bike around 360 and you can sit on the uh, motorcycle being on the dolly. But what I was showing you earlier is when I wash my motorcycle, I take off, I uh, wash my motorcycle, I'm washing the front wheel, and then as I'm doing this, the whole motorcycle is shaking and all of that. How stable it is compared to what I showed you on the other lift. That other lift, you really didn't even want to walk away from it. Um, and you didn't want to do a whole lot of things like, for instance, when I was putting the exhaust on, well, somebody actually put those exhausts, but when I was putting the exhaust on, the first set of exhausts that I had on my motorcycle, I didn't want to even do it on the lift because it was just so unstable. But if I would have had the let's roll lift, and the let's roll cruiser dolly, I could have easily did it there. Let me show you underneath the bike. If you're going to change your oil, the biggest problem I have with that other lift, I have the lift underneath and it's such a small space in order to fit the oil pan. Well, you can see how much space you have right here. You can definitely fit an oil pan under there. Um, and when you got an oil pan full of oil, you have to slide it out with that other lift because it's wedged in between there and it spills oil all over the place. Well, this one right here, I could leave the oil pan underneath it and just roll the motorcycle from over, out from over the oil pan. When I'm cleaning my motorcycle and I really want to get a good deep clean, I'll take off the saddlebags. But with that other lift, when I take off the saddlebags, the weight of the saddlebags unsettles the balance of the bike and it makes it even more unstable. So we see it's on the dolly. Let's take the saddlebag off and see if it makes a difference. Okay, here we go. That looks just as stable as it was with all the stuff on it. So check this out. Even though there's less weight in the back, it still feels just as stable as it did. So let me let this down and then I'm going to put the Road King up just to see if it's there any difference. Make sure you got that kickstand now, always. Guys, if you want to help out the channel and if you want a really nice lift, 
you can buy yourself a really nice lift in Dolly and help out the channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Really nice people that came down to run to the hills too and uh, demonstrated their lift. And when I saw it again, I had to have one. And another added benefit, this company is right in the USA and you don't get more American than Michigan. All right guys, so I wanna thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. Again, thanks Let's Roll uh, for providing me with the lift and the dolly and you guys are going to be seeing this a whole lot more on the channel and i look forward to some of the other things we're going to be doing with let's roll you have to stay tuned don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified when things like that come out you'll hear it first all right guys thanks for watching i'm going to get this bike down get that bike washed and then take this bike for a ride i might wash this one too while it's already up again thanks for watching keep gliding and as always have a blessed day